Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didier. Today talking about the Bitcoin charts, five reasons, five single reasons why Bitcoin could have bottomed out. Watch the video to the end, it's going to be very interesting. Now let's quickly jump into those charts over here guys. This is the first chart, of course. As you know, it's a four hour chart. We always start with a four hour chart. On the four hour chart, we can see the band band indicator giving amazing shorts and longs. Um, again, a beautiful um, short flag over there. The candle was closing down below the yellow snapping line. There was a short in the ribbon over there, yellow on the bottom. The blue line was below the white line, quadruple confirmation. If you would have taken, even if you would have taken it very late, you would still have a almost 1% profit and um, without leverage. With leverage, of course, way more. If you want to trade with leverage, bam, I would trade over here, guys, at Bybit. At the moment, not a $4,000 bonus, but a $30,000 US dollar bonus if you sign up to Bybit using this QR code, scan it, or one of the links down below the video. You also get fee discounts and access to the free Bit Launchpad. Um, let's quickly jump into five reasons that I think that Bitcoin could have been bottoming out. Let's quickly jump into those charts, way more important over, bam, here. On this first chart of uh, Glassnode, guys, uh, we can see um, the SLRV ribbons. Uh, these SLV ribbons, they track the investment flows uh, by combining like the 30 day and the 150 day moving average um, to the SLV ratio. So, which is a percentage of the Bitcoin moved in 24 hours divided by Bitcoin's health for six to 12 months. Every time when we get into those areas, guys, over here, you behind my face, these lowest areas of 0 0.2 over here, 0 0.2, 0. These are the levels that Bitcoin is bottoming out. And when the blue line starts to cross above that gray line over there, that's a positive indication. Because look in the history, what it meant when it crossed above that line. That was the moment we had that short time run. So we are crossing above the line. That's the first reason why I think uh, Bitcoin could be bottoming out. Now, let's go for the BAM second chart. This one over here. This one um, is showing you the global electric cost. So Bitcoin, Bitcoin minus total production cost includes mining hardware, operational costs, uh, capital costs, uh, various rate power contracts, uh, all those factors, they combine the cost of mining Bitcoin. Now, the raw electrical cost has historically been um, the Bitcoin floor because it's rare for Bitcoin to trade down below that price point. So Bitcoin has only traded below the electric cost four times in history. And the recent one was in November where Bitcoin um, electrical cost hit around 16,900 US dollar. So we can see that Bitcoin price here in this area getting near to the Bitcoin electrical cost. And that means that we have the bottom end. That is the moment when we shifted from fully bearish to becoming a little bit bullish again. Here we can see the same. That was just before the huge bull run. Here now, again, we are near that Bitcoin electrical cost. So for me, four times in history, one, two, three, and four, those moments were all amazing moments to buy Bitcoin. So yes, this time it's telling me again, the Bitcoin uh, bottom could be in. Now, let's go to the third chart, this one, bam, over here. So the miners are still losing money with the production cost above that spot price of Bitcoin. And this forces miners to sell Bitcoins to stay alive. So the current level of Bitcoin miner selling is the third largest one in history. With the two other two events happening when Bitcoin was, I think, $2 then and $290 somewhere in 2015. On this chart, you can see exactly those moments. That is this moment over there is in 2011. Here, that was when Bitcoin was like around $2.11, $2.10. That was an amazing moment to buy Bitcoin. And then we have this peak over here, a lot of miner selling. Uh, that was when Bitcoin was over here, to around $300 US dollar. And now again, we have that huge peak in the selling and we are now at around 16,400 and it has only happened a few times in history that it was that steep so that is the third indication that we are at the Bitcoin bottom you should be buying Bitcoins let's go to the fourth one over here bam this one this this chart is showing you the Bitcoin hash ribbons um, and this is confirming another minor capitulation most of these charts by the way are by Capriola Charles um, you can see that here in the top over there and um, this is the hash ribbon yes um, Bitcoin miner capitulation involves miners turning off their ASICs, so their mining power, because they are not profitable anymore. 
So that's the capitulation of the miners. So these indicate every time these minor capitulations where the floor of Bitcoin, the floor price of Bitcoin is near already in. And that is the moment you should be buying. Over here, we can see that is the moment we should have been buying. Over there, that was the moment you should have been buying. Over here, you should have been buying. Every time when you saw the blue dot was an amazing moment to be buying Bitcoin. Even here on the dip to 30K, that was an amazing moment to buy Bitcoin. And here again, that dot flashed. Now we are creating this new capitulation phase, which again will create this red area on the bottom. And if that red area is there, that blue dot will appear again. And when that blue dot will appear again, that is again an amazing moment to be buying into Bitcoin uh, for the next Bitcoin bull run. Now, let's go into the fifth and the last chart that is over this one over here. Really like this chart as well. This one um, shorts shows you the all-time high Bitcoin hodling despite a historic like price uh, drawdown. Um, as you can see on the chart, when the line becomes dark red and we reach the purple line on the bottom over here, these moments are the moments you should have been buying Bitcoin every time again and again and again, guys. And now we are reaching that purple line with a reddish line again. So what does that mean? So the previous times uh, that we went to those levels here, this time over there, that time over there, that time over there, these are the indications for the long-term hodlers, for the whales, for the, uh, I think now also the inter institutional investors uh, to start and buy Bitcoin again. Now, um, that was, I think, everything for today. Let me see. Um, there is one more thing that I want to show you that is this website. On this website, guys, you will find everything and all the information about uh, the spot bot that I am using. It's a trading with sequence. You can see in the top slash TBF. Only when you use this link, you get a $200 uh, discount and, of course, also discount on the trading fees and everything. So make sure you go to this website. The link will, down, will be down below the video. This bot is making me about 3.5% every month. So that's an amazing um, return on investment. If you trade with $10,000, it's $350. If you trade with $100,000, k it's $3,000. $500. Again, it's in Bitcoin, so it's always calculated in Bitcoin. I am accumulated Bitcoins. If you go to the website, you can uh, watch the video over there and then uh, see for yourself if it's interesting. Uh, you claim both offers and you will get full access to everything again, guys. Now, that was really everything for today. I hope you um, really enjoyed all the information and the charts and all the beautiful five reasons that you should be buying Bitcoins because the bottom should be in because of these five reasons. If you want to have more information about all the other stuff or the indicators then go to the bitcoinfamily.com or just join our discord or telegram group where everybody is talking about bitcoin blockchain and life now that was everything yes a green screen behind me i didn't want to make a video outside i hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell, leave a comment what do you think about the charts and i wish you an amazing thursday evening see you tomorrow again bam